That looks good, I think. I don't know. It has tires on it. Oh. Hey Mike, how come your wheels aren't on yet? Well, you see, I ordered them off of Fitment Industries, but then I got my tires elsewhere, and I'm still waiting on my tires to come in. Mike, you should have packaged your wheels with tires. Not only would you have saved a lot of money, but they mount, balance, and ship them right to your door for free. You could have put them right on your car. Yeah, I probably should have done that, obviously. I'm guessing that's what you did. I mean, yeah, of course. Are you kidding me? They just said my tires are gonna be delayed another two days. <laughs> that sucks. I should have packaged. Summer is here. If you couldn't tell by the humidity and triple digit, oh my god, and triple digit temperatures, yet somehow still managed to get a head cold. And car shows are in full swing again, which is so refreshing coming off almost a year without any shows. For a lot of us, we just jump right back into the swing of it. It's like normal, back to normal. Everything's good. Coordinating where you're meeting up with your friends, convincing your significant other to spend another hot day walking around an asphalt parking lot, and most importantly, hitting up all of the food trucks. I don't know what it is about Euros or tacos from car shows. Maybe it's like all the quick detailer or E85 fumes floating around in the air. But either way, that's no, not exactly the case for all of us. There are new enthusiasts born every minute. And since, you know, we didn't have many shows to go to last year, there are a lot of new enthusiasts out there who may be experiencing their first car show this year. And if that's the case, Welcome, I'm Giles from Fitment Industries and we put together a quick guide for you in case you are planning on attending a car show in the near future for the first time and to make sure that you don't look like a goober and most importantly, have a good time. Real quick, before we get into the nitty gritty of everything, don't forget wheel tire suspension fitmentindustries.com where you can package your wheels and tires together. We're gonna mount balance and ship them for free. We'll even stretch them for you so you don't have to worry about dealing with all that stuff when they get there. Just throw them right on your car, good to go. You don't have to deal with any grumpy guys at the tire shop. Anyway. First things first, you gotta know what you're actually attending. You know, is it gonna be a car show or is it a car meet? Because they are two very different things. And if you show up to a car meet expecting a car show or a car show expecting a car meet, it's gonna be a little bit awkward. So here's some key differences on what both of those are. First up, car meet, it's usually some kind of casual hangout. It's usually, you know, a pretty loose structure to everything. There's not like a schedule, you just kind of time and place. It's usually, you know, some kind of pre-meet before a car show, maybe like a big car show during the weekend, there's a pop-up meet, something like that the night before. Everyone kinds of goes and hangs out at, or typically it's in some sort of business parking lot after hours. Now, don't be surprised if you hop on your local Facebook page and it's a Walmart meet or in my case you know a subway parking lot meet in my hometown for some reason that was the only place to go you know don't be expect to get you know kicked out every now and then car shows on the other hand are a sanctioned event with a dedicated schedule. Usually they're hosted by a company or some kind of larger group. They are promoted and open to the public to come check out as like an actual event to like take the kids to on the weekend. Typically some kind of entry or application fee is required and you have to submit your car to be a part of the show. And that's what we're gonna be focusing on here. Car shows specifically, the ones that you go to and there's a lot of people there, there's a lot of vendors there. Cars are there for a specific purpose. So first couple of things. To note here, having been a part of hosting some of the largest car shows and car meets in Wisconsin for the last few years, here are some things that you can do to not only make sure that you're gonna have a good time, to make sure that the staff hosting the event is gonna stay happy because if you don't wanna piss those guys off, because then it just makes everyone's time, you know, not so fun. Show up on time, that is the biggest one, but don't show up too early and don't show up too late. Don't be that guy that shows up hours before the event in hopes to get a good spot, odds are, the crew is still setting up. They're getting their tent set up. They're getting everything, you know, you know, good to go for the day. Maybe they're not even there yet. They're not even allowed to let people in before the event. The gates aren't open because if you show up, they're just gonna kind of put you somewhere and then you might not even be a part of the show. And then of course, don't show up hours late either. Cars might be already parked. Judging might have already began. Overall, it's just kind of a dick move. Just follow the schedule. Our tips for that are be in the area of the event at least a half hour 
hour before your scheduled time to be there. The schedule is what the whole show runs off of. It's what the staff is running off of, and they're not gonna change it day of. If you're one of those people that are traveling a long distance to a show, make sure you leave enough time to do things like wash your car if needed, do a quick like pre-trip check of the vehicle, make sure your tires are in good shape, make sure that like your fluids are topped off. And then it, maybe if you want, look into getting a hotel the day before so you don't have to worry about making the long drive day of. Attending shows with friends makes it that much better. It's something that you can go do together. If you plan on going with a group of people and you wanna to park together at the show, make sure all you guys show up together. It makes it much more easier to get everyone parked next to each other like you guys like and no one gets left out. If you're coming from different areas, establish a meeting place beforehand so you can all drive to the show together. Remember, you're there to show off your car and of course have a good time. You're definitely gonna wanna make sure that you bring the essentials to make sure your car looks as good as it possibly can. Don't forget to pack essential cleaning supplies that you're gonna need to keep your car looking clean. Nothing worse than hitting a swarm of freshly hatched mayflies right before you get to the show and then you have nothing to wipe them off with when you get your car all parked. We recommend packing some quick detailers, some glass cleaner, some wheel cleaner, tire shine, and then just pick up a pack of fresh microfibers to keep your car looking nice and clean at all times. If I see you show up to a car show with dirty wheels, I'm gonna have Dakota come over here and smack you. And trust me, he's had a lot of experience slapping wheels. Just keep that in mind. So you're there, you're all checked in, car's parked, car's cleaned up. What's the next thing? Well, I'll tell you what the next thing is. Don't just stand there with a stick up your butt next to your car. I see it all the time. And don't, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, you know, super guilty of it as well. Walk around the show. Go talk with people. Go talk with people about their cars. It makes it so much more fun. Talk to them about their build, what they've all done to it. Everyone has at least some kind of crazy story about their car, I promise you. Go around, take some photos, even if it's with your cell phone or if you have a camera, you know, more to you. But like, just go experience the whole show. Go eat some tacos, pet the dogs, all that sort of stuff. That allows you to not just hang out next to your car in a lawn chair all day, because then every picture that you get of your car is gonna have you sitting next to it. The next biggest thing is stay for the whole event. A lot of time and effort went into planning that show. Some shows won't even give you an award. Like if you win an award and you're not there to like accept it, they'll just pick the next person in line. I've seen it happen many times. Which, while we're on the topic of trophies and awards, let's get to the last topic of today, which is what all goes in to winning a trophy from a car show. Because sometimes, you know, some people, that's that's what they're there for. They're, they're there to take home a piece of hardware. Classes can vary from show to show, whether that's, you know, year, make, model, whether that's just general classes, it varies all the time. So like, what are judges looking for when it comes down to actually judging these cars to hand out the trophies? The biggest things that they take into consideration is, of course, your overall quality, so like your condition, your fitment, your paint, all that kind of stuff. But there's also some other things that come into play here too, like creativity, like what makes that car unique? Any custom fabrication done to it. You can tell that when you have your simple bolt-on parts compared to like a custom fab, part that you can't buy anywhere else obviously the eyes are going to be drawn to those parts a little bit more and the appreciation to that kind of workmanship is going to be appreciated a whole lot more this thing is going faster and faster jesus christ attention to detail is another one that modifications flow throughout the entire car every square inch has been touched or at least prepped to be at the show. And you might be thinking, you know, why do I go to these some of these shows and all these like kit cars and freaking Bumblebee Camaros are taking home the trophies all the time. And it, when it comes down to it, it's like the dedication and attention to detail is there. You see those guys showing up. Every inch of that car has been touched with some sort of detail product. It is absolutely clean. The car looks like it's never been out of a showroom before. They got the whole plaque thing sticking up next to it. They got the plushies sitting in the seat. Like they just go all in. And even if it might not be your cup of tea, you know, they still put in a ton of effort and they are there for one reason and that is to take home a trophy and guess what they usually do but when it all comes down to you know when that time comes the announcer comes up on the on the intercom and you all flock to the main stage and you're there to see who's going to take home the trophy for the day if you don't win it's gonna be okay it's just a trophy it's not worth getting all upset about remember like everyone is there for a specific reason and that's to share the passion of cars have a good time and to hang out with people and if you don't take home a little plastic trophy for the day i promise it's gonna be okay so that is our quick guide if you are looking at attending your first car show coming up this year of course let us know your thoughts down in the comments below and let us know what you would like us to cover next and of course don't forget wheel tire suspension including wheel tire packages that come to your door mount balance and ship for free so you can just slap 
slap them on your car. You don't have to worry about anything. You literally, like you get them that day, you can install them in like 30 minutes. It's like the easiest thing. You don't have to go drive around, borrow your buddy's truck to go bring tires and wheels to a shop to get them mounted. And it's just a whole mess. So, FeminIndustries.com, I'm Gels. We'll see you later.